And here is our full six belly pan. Uh, with this, we've gone for the satin mat at the front and then going into gloss. And this will be going, obviously, on the bottom of the bike. And it will complement our colour scheme. So that's going on there now. And we'll do a video showing that installed. So here's our belly pan. And because this is designed mainly for the original exhaust, um, they didn't counter for the design, obviously what Zard have done which has this lower pipe coming through the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we've masked it off and drawn where we're gonna be cutting a bit of the carbon out. Um, so that gives us some clearance on the other side. So we're about 20 mil too, um, too low on the other side. So we need to bring it up a bit more. Right, so we've, we've used the Dremel. Um, as you can see, we've had to take quite a chunk out for it to clear the bottom of the exhaust pipe uh, but that's not going to be seen at all that's going to be right under the bottom of the bike um, uh, so yeah we're just uh talking up all the bolts just making sure that doing a pdi check and uh then we'll have this fitted and uh see how it looks on the bike so with the belly pan it's got a bracket here with the two holes and this has to go and sit behind this bracket here so when we put the belly pan on it goes between those two holes and this bracket and then it also bolts onto behind here and at the bottom of the oil cooler there and round on the right hand side, we have one bracket which bolts on to there. Yeah. And that one. Oh, that one there. Um, and then the bottom one on the uh, bottom of the oil pan here. So we're gonna attempt to fit it now and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will go on there nice and easy. Shouldn't have said that, should I? Right, so due to the position of the Zard exhaust, um, they do come down lower and splay out further than the OEM. Uh, so with the side of the belly pan, we're gonna have to cut this down a bit more here because it's touching the exhaust and it's not allowing us to put the um, side stand down. And on this side, that's where it's fouling the exhaust. So again, we're just gonna Dremel that bit away and hopefully it will then bring the left side closer to the bike so the side stand isn't gonna hit the carbon fiber belly pan. So let's get on and do this. Okay, so this is what I mean about uh, the belly pan and the Zard exhaust. So um, under here, you can see where we've done the cutout for the lower part of the exhaust. The exhaust, I've shaved off a bit around here, but then it's still catching along this corner bit. That's where I've shaved off. It's catching around this corner bit here. And if we use the side stand, you can then see it hits just here and that's not gonna be any good. So, needs to come round a bit more so I think we're gonna to have to take a bit more along this edge here, bring that to that line and then up here. So just take that, we'll probably just take all this off here. And here is 99% of the finished article. So we've uh, just installed the belly pan. For me, I. I've, I think it just sets it off. Um, I know some people, you know, they're gonna have their own opinions, um, but I think it just flows with the bike and it, that gap that was there previously, it just 
closes it off. And what we did is we've got the gloss tank with the matte brushed aluminium effect paintwork. We've got the satin matte tank cover and then going down to the side panels in gloss. And then we had it masked off and made in satin, uh, satin matte. Um, with this in satin matte and then a monocoque in gloss. And the wings we've got in gloss. Uh, the, these will be fitted better um, as soon as we've got the brackets because you're just missing the brackets in the back there which are on their way from full six. And we've got the, which would have been silver radiator covers. We swapped those out in a satin matte carbon. The engine panels here in satin matte going down here in satin matte, which then is masked off into gloss, going along the rest of the panel work there. So what we've also installed today is the Oz wheels. So we've gone for the titanium with the AEM red cone, wheel cone, with a Duca bike wheel nut. And with this, the three kind of combination, it goes perfectly with the AEM rear brake reservoir, the front brake reservoir, and the clutch reservoir. We've also got the AEM frame caps with the motor course engine bracket and the motor course frame cap there. With full six carbon reservoir holder, Duke bike, engine case with their clear clutch, the motor course rear set bracket and the AEM frame cap plug. <clears throat> And the number plate and the EvoTech plate holder here and the LED light with the smoked tail lights, which I'll put on in just a second. And this side is, just zoom them out a bit, this side is Buddy pan. Again, it's got the satin mat, which flows up with the satin mat. Engine panels and radiator cover there, which then goes to the gloss wing, to the satin mat side, to then the gloss. And we've got the motor course suspension bracket here. Motor course rear set bracket. And we've also got a motor course CNC side stand, which will be arriving in the near future. And for what we've installed, the beautiful AAM sprocket flange kit. Now these are available as a kit on our website. This is the Star 6 version. They do do a spin version, which you can choose and by buying it as a complete kit, you do save a bit of money on it. And you also, if you use our uh, coupon code, which is UTSVF, so for YouTube, UTSVF, that will give you a more discount on your order. And you'll also earn reward points as well. So when you spend with us, not only do you get a discount using that code, but you will get more discount on any future purchase and you can also use that code again. So you get a double whammy of discounts. And there's our mirrors. The top yoke with the triple clamps. A motor course quick release tank cap with motor course titanium bolts. 
And we've got titanium bolts along here. And all here are titanium bolts, including in here. Um, these will be titanium once we've got the rear sets. So I'll just zoom in a bit closer here. So I've got titanium pinch bolts on the rear of the swing arm there. New boots. And the black, silver and red AEM carbon levers. Now, yeah, just waiting for the seat. So we're waiting for a Panigale V4 seat to arrive. Once that's here, then uh, she is 99% done. So happy with the way it's gone. So, so happy. It's exactly as I hoped it would look. It actually is slightly, it's even better than I thought. You know, the, the job that even like Vulture bikes done on here, the AEM triple clamps, um, the Duke bike engine case, the full six parts. I mean, these guys are absolute craft of uh, their industry. And uh, all their parts just look stunning and amazing. So I'll put the lights on. the front DRL going through the back and oh, there's a rear tail light there looks kind of yellowy orange in the video but to me it's bright red it's very very red Yeah, that does, it just looks awesome. And uh, thank you for Ducati for bringing out their uh, <laughs> SP version, which uh, came out yesterday. Uh, yeah, so people will probably see this going down the road and think, oh, it's an SP, until they come up close and go, oh, well, no, it's got a bit more carbon than what an SP has and whatnot. Yeah, so looking forward to taking her out, going for a ride. And uh, our, our biggest local meet is Paul Key. So I'll take her for a ride down there on a few Tuesdays. So if you're local, you're from Dorset, Hampshire or Devon, and you you know you go to Paul Key, then you might see the bike there. And then you can have a good look around, around it and see what you think. And any questions, guys, please uh, leave them in the comments and uh, I'll be able to get back to you and let you respond to them. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the build. And uh, our final one will be when the rear sets arrive, the side stand and the seat as well. So we're not done just yet. Right, so we've got our original OEM uh, sports seat from the Panigale V4 now fitted on our Street Fighter. I uh, love this seat. It's much nicer than the Street Fighter version. It's just got a lovely suede, well, Alcantara feel to it on the top. And it uh, goes really well with, with the bike, I think. And we had to use the Panigale V4 version because the monocoque and the tank is for the Panigale V4. So the Street Fighter, um, even though it does fit on the Street Fighter, the seat from the Street Fighter is different. It's wider. 
um, and uh, so we've got that seat and I'm really happy with that, really happy the way it looks. So the rear sets, they will be on their way to us next week. So um, we'll be done and the bike will be complete. And I'm so happy with the way this looks. It just looks phenomenal. We'll be putting Venture Shield on it. Um, I've, we've got it here. I'm just waiting for a couple more bits because uh, obviously as we've got the satin and the gloss uh, the uh, venture shield stuff is basically gloss from here all the way there so I don't want to put gloss on top of this otherwise it's just going to look you know it's, it's going to take away the whole point of having that in satin finish so um, yeah so I'll be doing that in satin this part in gloss uh, I'll be doing the wings doing the screen, be doing the headlights, uh, all around here in satin as well. Um, I believe we do have a bit on the front mudguard and down the sides. And we've got the satin in the, for the tank. Uh, we've got a tank protector, which goes up here. And I'm gonna be putting satin along the sides here, because this is a matte finish. And then it comes all the way along the tail here and also along the belly pan as well. Um, I, I will do a video of how to do that. I've done it plenty of times before. It's not too difficult. You just gotta be patient with yourself um, and use the right products and it will go on there easy. Oh, we've also got the satin, which goes on here um, and down the side there. Uh, we'll be doing a full catalogue of all of the parts that we've put on the bike um, and be totaling it up. I might have a slight heart attack, uh, but I'd be interested to know, you know the cost that has got involved. Uh, obviously, we will do the market price of the parts. Um, so if anybody was to, you know, do this and buy all these parts, then, you know, this is kind of what you'll be looking to, to spend on a build of this magnitude.